I'm at the 2012 CES, and I'm here with... John Gargiulo. And Apu Kumar. And you're with which company? We're with Bluestacks at Player. What does being a CES mean for your company? Go ahead. The CES is, is obviously one of the, the biggest shows for electronic manufacturers, software vendors. I've been here several times, and I'm with Bluestacks now, so it's fantastic to bring a new product and a new company here at CES, especially here at the Venetian, where you're showing new innovation. It's set up so beautifully. We have so many people coming in every day, every hour. It's been it's absolutely smashing for us. It's also a really good mix of people. We were just talking about this, you know, a lot of venture capital firms to uh, OEMs to developers. Um, so, you know, it's nice to get that kind of diversity coming through all parts of the convention. What we announced yesterday is that we've come to Windows 8, so when Windows 8 releases later in the year, this is a, a Samsung Windows 8 tablet, we're bringing all the Android apps into the Windows ecosystem. We already have a version out for Windows 7, so this is Pulse. This is the number one newsreader on Android, but nobody has ever used Pulse bigger than on their phone or on a tablet. So I'm happy to be using this on a Windows 8 tablet, but Ultrabooks, all-in-one PCs, mouse and keyboard, the apps just work. And they're really easy to access. Um, so we already have an alpha out now at bluestacks.com. And what Apu's got in his hands is our Android app. So this is available in the Android market. It's called Bluestacks Cloud Connect. What this allows you to do is from your Android phone or tablet, as you can see, it's a really, really simple UI. You just select the apps that you want to sync between your phone, you know, kind of push them to your PC, hit sync, they do a little dance, and then they just show up uh, on your PC and you can use them there. So it's a great way to get your Android apps from your Android phone or your Android tablet or any Android device into the Windows world. And that complements the existing apps on the Windows side, but it brings 400,000 or more apps on the Android world over to this side.